Hey everyone, Dyworm here with another Starfield Mods episode. Today it's time for a new hope, because the first serious Star Wars mod has entered Starfield. Let's dive in. I'm starting off with another Baka mod though, from Shadowshade. This time it is Baka Kill My Games folder, which may require a bit of explanation. Unless you install this mod, what happened was that textures, animations and meshes were loaded from the My Games folder, while all other mods were loaded from the Starfield root folder. Vortex Mod Manager can't install mods yet in the My Games folder, only in the Starfield root folder. So any texture, mesh or animation mod, plus a few others, you had to manually install in the My Games folder, which was a bit of a hassle. Now this mod. Baka Kill My Games folder forces Starfield to load all mods from the Starfield root folder, so now you can use Vortex Mod Manager to manage most of your mods, a lot more than previously at least. I tested it as I'm changing mods on a daily basis to make these videos, so for me this is a godsend and it works like a charm for most mods. Realistic water, faster workbenches, the faster ladders later down this episode and a bunch of others, they all installed using Vortex as expected. Some others like the flashlight mod and also the one I'll be covering in a second still don't work. That can either be due to the mod manager or because of the mod author not specifying the correct folder structure. It's hard to say for me. However, this next mod was worth the hassle of not being able to use Vortex because this is Galactic Civil War Conversion by Kboy Kboy. This mod author is currently using their own modding tools to update and create meshes and was able to create a Stormtrooper armor on the UC security personnel in New Atlantis. Reason for this mod's name is likely copyright issues. You can now find stormtroopers all around the city. It just looks amazing honestly. And this is the start of turning Starfield into Star Wars as Todd intended. I did some more experimentation with this mod however and up until now it only works on NPCs. After killing a few stormtroopers and looting their armor, the mod doesn't work for you as a player unfortunately. The UC police or UC sec armor is just a vanilla armor on your character. Maybe that's a small manual install mistake on my part, let me know in the comments what your experiences are. And it's a shame but it doesn't matter too much for now because the good news is that Star Wars arrived with this beautiful mod. There's more to come also from this mod author and maybe he updates this mod, who knows. I will keep you posted on the progress regardless. If you want more Starfield swag in your life and parade around neon as if you're running the place, Take a look at American Akira Streetwear and Fashion. This mod comes with a few options and I manually installed the black streetwear version which looks like this. This isn't necessarily my style, but I appreciate the high quality mod and the effort put in. This outfit looks very flashy and if you want something a bit less standing out, there's a white and plain white version as well. They're all looking sharp though, it's a great mod. And the final mod of today, Faster Ladders by La Bomba Romba. Vanilla ladders are pretty slow and this mod makes it 150% or even 200% faster. You're watching the 150% here in the footage. I don't have any mod updates of existing mods, so all that's left is to say thanks for watching once more. Subscribe for more amazing Star Wars and Starfield mods and I will see you in the next one. Bye.